Welcome back to another employability level one certificate and today we'll be looking at unit 22 working in a team and this is part three. Please remember that we are working with health and safety guidelines. We have our safeguarding leads who are Marie Spence and Tracy Turner. We adhere to prevent and British values and we adhere to equality and diversity guidelines. Please ensure that you have signed the register for today so that we are aware that you have attended the session. Today's aims and objectives are to be able to participate in a team, complete evidence required to complete Unit 22. And the criteria that you're going to be meeting today is 4.1, identify the goals that a particular team, team they are a member of has set. 4.2, carry out their own role and responsibilities within their team effectively. And 4.5, review their own performance in the team and suggest ways that they can improve in the future. As I mentioned before, we are working on Unit 22, working in a team, part three. How to participate in a team. Often in a team, we need to make sure that we are engaging with others. It may seem daunting, but to also join in and also be a united front together. Make sure that you are participating and get involved. As part of a team, everyone needs to get involved. Activity is warm up maps today. So your instructions are arrange yourselves in a circle or a line. Everyone to stand up in front of your chairs and the tutor to assign each person with a number. So what you need to definitely do is remember your number. The tutor is then to ask a question. So for example, is your number odd? And can you multiply it by two? If the answer to that question is yes, then you sit down. Everyone stands up for the next question and the game should get quicker and harder. Have fun with this maths activity. Prevent. Prevent is part of the UK's counter-terrorism strategy, preventing people becoming involved in terrorism or supporting terrorism. It not only prevents such extremists, it also engages in preventing someone from even becoming a terrorist and focuses on radicalization and extremism as well. The prevent strategy has put a, a, put a process in place to help us support and engage with vulnerable people who seem to have found themselves in a situation where they may be faced being radicalised and have increasing extremist views. British values. We have the prevent strategy and we also have prevent uh, British values, sorry. We have democracy, individual liberty, mutual respect and tolerance and the rule of law. These all make up British values. Your next activity is prevent planning and the aim is to create a newspaper article poster or a leaflet to make others aware of prevent including radicalization and extremism. You need to assign each person in your group a role, complete the activity planner sheet and research the topic and get information together. At this stage you are only planning on how you are going to do this and who is going to do what and when. What you need to think of is smart target, so setting time scales for tasks, document on their worksheet planner, so make sure you're documenting everything on your worksheet planner, and use flip chart paper to expand on ideas and identify each team member's strengths. Your next activity within Prevent is design and research. So the aim here is to um, execute your plan and design and research the information to create the newspaper article, poster or leaflet to inform others of Prevent. Please note to consider the end presentation of your newspaper article, poster or leaflet to ensure it meets the purpose of what is being displayed. For example, a poster would be better done on flip chart paper you can print off information to stick on or write or draw on this flip chart paper. Ensure to allocate a role for researchers, those who can design the newspaper article, poster or leaflet, and who are going to select the information to put on the newspaper article, poster or leaflet. I hope you have fun doing this activity.
the next part of your prevent activity is the final production. So the aim here is to complete your final production of your newspaper article poster or leaflet to inform others of prevent. What we need to be thinking of is put the planning and design into practice, complete the final production, and then get the newspaper article poster or leaflet together to be, be presented to other groups. I look forward to seeing your presentations. Your assessor will observe you on your presentation to meet the following criteria for Unit 22, Criteria 4.2, carry out their own role and responsibilities within their team effectively. Good luck with your presentations. To complete Criteria 4.5, review your own performance in the team and suggest ways they can improve in the future, please complete Worksheet Review of Activity. Well done on completing part three of unit 22. Please take a moment to reflect. So what have you learned today? What did you learn of yourself when you were creating the posters, articles or leaflets for prevent duty? Did you have fun working in a team? Really reflect on what you've learned today. And did you learn about prevent and British values? Thank you so much for your time today. I look forward to speaking to you in the next session.